Welcome, Fire Earth Signs, to your chakra reading for April. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. This reading is a collective energy reading. So this is for Aries, Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Sag, Cap. Welcome, welcome, all you cuspies. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on within your reading. Okay, you straight into this. On over here in your chakras my friends you have growth coming out with a beautiful heart chakra this card is talking about your commitment and following your heart it's about honoring your growth and the growth of others there is a sense of courage and abundance and the ability to stand tall this is a time to uphold what your heart knows is true so really going with the heart of the matter it's really what it's talking about and asking yourself the questions right what have I outgrown? Am I willing to become independent? S taking a stand, living in your truth, lack of safety, clashing your values, maybe with others or against yourself, and teaching by example. So this is a time for change of scenery for some of you. You may be leaving, moving, right? Maybe going on a vacation. Um, we're talking also about growth right? Growing in all kinds of ways, whether it's just spiritually, um, which becomes then physical, right? Or is it just spiritually, right? It's embarking on new enterprise or learning a skill. Most importantly, it's just about the growth of the situation. Everybody's story is a little bit different. You will know where your growth is coming. A lot of you are going through some kind of transformation going on over here because the growth card comes with a lot of transformation. So you might be going through some kind of butterfly effect. You may, you know, be going through a lot of introspection of oneself, um, you know, really hermiting yourself out, looking at the bigger picture. Um, so we'll take all of those into consideration, guys, right? If you know you are doing so. Um, this is also about balance, making sure that you are keeping the balance within yourself, making sure that everything is balanced. Are you balanced, right? And talking about growth is saying we want to keep everything balanced. We want to keep you know, the heart and mind balanced together. We want to keep the emotions balanced, right? Not allowing ourselves to become unbalanced. So talking about that vitality with the root chakra, this is saying because this balance of the root chakra is really what's going to keep you stable, right? In a stable mind. This is where, you know, it's almost like you could say because of the growth that I'm going through it could cause some anxieties, so is my mind wandering around? Is my mind all over the place? Is it affecting my emotions? So you want to make sure that your emotions and your mind are definitely, you know, centered, balanced. Okay, we have the death card coming out. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Like I said, this is transformation. It's, it's part of transformation. It's also coming from the root chakra again, saying this is taking on this butterfly effect. This is the growth. What am I holding on to that I need to let go of? Am I learning from this situation? Once you learn from a certain situation and realize what's going on, it's going to be easier to let it go because you're saying, you know what? I really just don't need that anymore. This job really isn't doing anything for me. I am more creative. I am better than this, right? Knowing your worth comes from a lot of that as well, right? So over here, it's saying, yeah, Peacock, let yourself stand out and be noticed. Absolutely. Through this beautiful transformation, it's like, you know what? I am glowing. I am shining. I know my value. I know my worth. I know where my growth has come. You know, I don't need to sit over here in a corner anymore. I know that I should be standing out in the crowd. I am worth so much more than this, right? So even within a love situation, if you know that your partner or, you know, your loved one is not giving you the attention that's needed, you know, and, you know, hey, you know what? We have partnerships. Maybe they're not noticing you is like they used to. Maybe you know it's time to let go and go find someone else who could treat you better, right? Who notices everything that you do. Maybe you feel like you're in a relationship where, you know what? They just don't notice me at all, right? I do all all these things work too, right? Whatever partnership you're in, whatever, you know, um, somewhere within the community, right? It could even be yourself. Maybe you're not allowing yourself to stand out in the crowd, holding yourself back. 
So now you're going to grow and say, you know what? I am worth this. And there's that solitude. So definitely feeling like you, because of the ending. This is the ending to a beautiful beginning because you're going through this growth process. Um, right? So make sure that you are taking the solitude that you need at this time so that you can get deep into the situation. Really see what you have. And what you have is this beautiful castle behind you that you belong in. Right? You are the king. You are the queen. Right? That's where you belong. You are this peacock. You do deserve to shine like everybody else. Right? You deserve to have what other people have. Right? If the boss is not doing his job, right? If the job is a dead-end job, you know you're worth so much more. Hey, look, I went to school. I went to college for this stuff. And you're treating me like I'm, you know, like this is, you know, like I'm some, uh, you know, apprentice. I've been here for 30 years. I'm not your apprentice. If anything, some of you might even have better qualities than the boss themselves. How dare you come to me? I've worked here 30 years. You've only been in this business for five and been the boss, you know? So let's see what's going on over here. And take, friends, what resonates and what doesn't resonate, you can throw away. It's just the point that, you know what, there's something that's going on around you to where it's like holding you back. And through this growth, you're going to find your worth. Okay. And clarifying on the... Death card and the balance, please, with the growth. Absolutely. Absolutely having the king of wands coming out saying, yeah, I'm a natural leader. I'm a visionary. You know, you might be an entrepreneur and you know that you can see the bigger picture. You're overcoming the challenges. You're career focused. You know where your career should be going. You're mature enough to understand this. It's going to put you in a boss mode over here. Right? Right? It just feels like maybe somebody is trying to steal your thunder. Don't steal my thunder. I know who I am. But now you need to come to the point where you say, you know what? I do know who I am. And I'm not going to take this no more. And that's where the beginning of that transformation comes through. Yes, moving quickly after this. It just feels like after the solitude comes the peacock. And it's just like, this is where I get to move. This is where I become very ambitious. This is where I'm going to take that action. This is where the fast acting is actually going to come through because over here, I'm, you know, it's like you're kind of just chilling, right? Going with the flow. And now you get to take that action where your mind is going. And you're saying, this is where I, this is where I need to be, right? Defending your beliefs. You understand now, see, and at the bottom is the hermit. So you're saying, yeah, I do know where I am. I was in isolation. I was soul seeking. I understand the purpose. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I understand this. This makes you more independent from those, those ways that you were doing before. Right? Becoming more conscious about the situation. Getting a glimpse to the big picture of, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the five of cups a lot because, you know what? I haven't been able to see the two of cups. They keep holding me back and I don't realize, you know what? I am a peacock. Behind you, you're the peacock. You have those two of cups. But everybody wants to always, you know, make you look at the three of cups down. Right? And you're saying, no. No more disappointment. I'm not a failure. I don't need this grief. If you feel like you have some kind of loss or you're afraid of the loss, you're going to say, you know what? I, I don't need this. You're right. I... You know, I was holding on. Maybe I'm holding on to something because I'm afraid to let it go. I don't really like change much, right? Something of this nature. Earth signs don't like change a whole lot. But it's it's okay, right? You're saying it's okay. Especially those who are fixed signs, right? The fixed signs don't like change much. So, yeah, we're going to go through this kind of like grieving process. I've been here 30 years, but I realize that you're not paying me what I'm worth. You're not even treating me the way I'm worth. I am a king. I am a queen. Absolutely. And there you go into boss mode. Look at that. Celebration and joy and the harmony of having the marriage in the home. Bringing in this emperor mode of yourself. You have the key. You're holding on to the key. The key is the knowledge. 
he's holding on to this key because as soon as you get out of hermit mode, you're going to realize, you know what? I have the key. The key was the growth. The key was the understanding. I know where my stability is. I have the structure now within the mind and the understanding to be focused and disciplined where it needs to be. I'm not going to allow anyone else to control, you know, what it is I know and always knew, but I never really, you know, maybe you just never really jumped that fence, right? So now you're going to jump that fence for celebration and joy, bringing a more um, harmonious adventure for you, finding a more harmonious job for you. Going out and being the peacock is going to allow you to have the celebration and joy and allow you to be seen, to be noticed. People are going to notice you. They're going to see that, you know what, I'm uplifted. I have this. This is what I want. You're going to find the comfort and the calm within yourself because you can see at the bottom of the cup, the bottom of the cup, there it is again. Hey, I hold the key. She says, I hold this cup and there's so much that's going to go in there. You're in, you know, your intuition is just going to be kicking, you know, because you're saying I'm actually emotionally caring now more than maybe I did before. I went through some healing, some nurturing with the growth. I'm having better understanding and I'm in a much calmer place than I was before. And definitely my emotions are balanced. So even going over here on that emotions and the balance, you know, the balance, absolutely. Because you're in a more wishful thinking. So therefore you are becoming more balanced. You're finding that purpose, searching for the purpose. You're searching for the purpose right now, my friends, as you're in this kind of Virgo mode, right? Daydreaming, wishful thinking, allowing the choices to come to you, seeing the opportunities come through you. And they're actually coming through you. Yes, that's what I said. Not to you, but through you. Why are they coming through you? Because you're balanced and you're allowing things to come towards you, right? So you're saying, this is where my daydreaming is allowing them to manifest through me. That's right. Through me. I create my destiny. And when my positivity goes up and my growth and my understanding comes to me, these things manifest before me. So therefore, my wishes come before me. So everything that was in 5D is now becoming 3D, coming right at you. Because you manifested it, you allow this to happen. It's unfolding before you. And this is, allows you to become the empress. So after the death, right, and learning the endings or merely beginnings is where you become this beautiful empress. This is where the development and the accomplishment and the growth comes together as you are evolving through the action. And oh, yeah, the action. You have the knight of swords. That's that action. You're saying, I'm going to take this action. I'm going to go exactly where it is I need to be going. And no one's going to tell me what to do or how to do this because I already know what I'm doing. I'm not listening to you or listening to you because there just feels like there might be a lot of negativity around you. Absolutely, because you are in high priestess mode. So not only are you going to be in empress mode, you're also in high priestess mode. You're trusting yourself. Going for the higher morals that you have within the growth. Those other people put you at a standard that are lower standards and make may have made you believe in lower standards, even though there's something higher within you that's like, but I'm worth so much more than this. But because they say this, I'll just keep myself here when I know I'm up here. There's something in the knowing and you know it. And once you unlock that key and that understanding and have these coming at you as you're unfolding everything, you're going to really dive in there because you're going to say, I knew it because you're in the knowing. Right? Crown chakra, open. Third eye, open. So now you're stable within your root chakra saying, keep this stable. Open up your heart and let's let the growth come through. Right? Really getting your stability down here. Right here is that earth star chakra that's saying, okay, so you take your roots. Now we're going to link it to the ground itself, to the earth, for the ultimate stability Right? Because think about it, guys. Once the roots are in the ground ground, you know how hard it is to pull those, you know. It always reminds me of weeds or trees. Right? Because those roots are stable within that earth star chakra, right? That ground, the ultimate ground. So this is the roots of the situation, and this is the ground of the situation. Once those roots are really planted in there, you're going to be able to see exactly what it is you really need. 
you are so stable. Nothing's going to push you over right now. Right? And then being in the knowing, oh boy, you know, we get into solitude mode. It's kind of like the reason we solitude away is kind of like, leave me alone. I'm doing something. Right? Don't mess my, my roots. Right? I'm grounding myself. Or what? Intuition. For the third eye. Bringing in that intuition to crown yourself for the higher understanding of knowledge. That's that aha effect. I knew it. Once you're in the knowing, nothing is going to push you down. That's it. You're crowned. Right? That's it. Because you put yourself into this place of this beautiful understanding where no one's going to tell you now what it is you know and don't know. Because now you know. It's when the light bulb goes off, right? Yep. Bringing in those, you know, happy moments. Bringing in those happy moments, bringing in that ultimate joy of the Six of Cups. Might even be a familiar, you know, feeling once you are crowning. Being, you know, I haven't felt like this in a long time. I haven't been in the knowing in a long time. People have me confused with the Seven of Swords. They've had me confused. Right? I was deceiving myself and betraying myself because people confused me. They took away my power. And now you're going to find that this is so familiar. You know what? I It's familiar because I remember this feeling. I remember this feeling of knowing who I am, where I stand, and what I want. So no more Seven of Swords. No one's going to cloud your vision anymore of who you are or what you want. So you get to... You know, you're going to get inspired. You're so inspired. You have all these new ideas and these new discoveries coming through. You're exploring areas within your mind and within your heart and within your life, you know, that you may have not done in a long time. It's a very exciting feeling and it's a very free feeling. You're feeling very free. Free from those things that hold you back. Free from feeling like I'm not balanced. Free to do what it is that, you know what, this is my idea. I'm going to do it. Very free-spirited. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Bringing in things that you, you know, that will serve you so much more. Probably haven't felt free for a while. Society likes to bring us down, tell us who we are, what we are, what we're doing. Kind of get lost within what is what and who I am. And now you're going to say, no, here's my victory. Wow. Six of wands. This is who I am. Now I'm going to get the public recognition that I deserve having the victory that I deserve. Having the progress which I deserve. Having the self-confidence that maybe I haven't had in a while that I deserve. And that comes with that free spirit and inspiration. Watch out. You don't know who I am. You know, and even if it's leaving a love relationship, right? Maybe that boyfriend, that girlfriend, or whoever doesn't treat you right. They hold you back. And now you're saying, wait a minute, I lost a piece of myself within this situation. No self-worth. You took everything away from me. If you're dealing with a narcissist or some kind of manipulative person that can take a big chunk of that with them and hold it tight, which is a piece of you, right? Same within a job, though, too. If you work with somebody who's very manipulating and they they keep telling you, you know, this, that, and the other in a job and you know what you're doing, and but yet they keep hounding you in this area, you're just like, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need this. Because I know who I am and I know I could be so much more. And like I said, for a lot of you, you may stay here because there is love. Um, it could be fear of letting go of a relationship that's long-term. Um, it could be fear of letting go of a job this long term, right? But now you're going to find that sense and that freedom to say, you know what? There's other things out there. There's so much more. And me, I was just kind of hiding. And now I get to stand tall like the peacock, come out with the self-recognition. And I do see the peacock within the six of wands because there is that public recognition. People are going to see you as this peacock and be like, whoa, hello, because you're getting noticed, you're getting noticed. Stand tall, right? Be yourself. Know who you are. Okay? Beautiful reading, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.